this is Sandra with the Disney Car Toys channel and today I have something super fun planned. We are going to make our own Valentine's Day boxes and fill it with surprise toys. When I was a kid I always made my Valentine's Day box with a shoe box but this is really cool. I actually got this box for just a couple of dollars at Target in the Valentine's Day section. And Target also is selling this mailbox decorating kit, which is super cute. It comes with lots of different heart stickers, and they're made out of foam, so they're somewhat 3D, and the little tape, and all sorts of little decorations for your box. And to fill up our Valentine's Day mailbox, I have tons of different little Halloween candies and treats and toys, blind bags, surprise eggs, you name it, I have it. So if you want to see me open up those, you got to click like on this video. So let's take a look and see what came with our kit. We have this nice little tape which goes on the side of the box, all of these heart stickers, and this little border which goes on top with these little stickers. So let's begin. I'm just going to stick the little sticky tape right at the bottom of this cute little heart cutout, and this will stick on the side. And there's a lot of pieces of this tape, but I'm going to put them all on just because I want to make sure this stays on and it doesn't fall off when people are delivering valentines. And as you can see, the big white heart is pretty blank there, so I'm going to put a name inside. I thought about doing Sandra, but I think I want to give this Valentine's Day box to Elsa. So let me just kind of trace in her name a little better. Sorry about my really bad handwriting. <laughs> there we go. Now it's going to be Elsa's box. Next, just stick this little cutout to the back of the box, and now everyone knows that's Elsa's mailbox. The next thing I'm going to add is this big heart ribbon. And I'm kind of nervous it's one giant sticker, so I hope I don't mess up because it's kind of a one-time thing. So I'm going to start here on the left side and trying to make sure it's nice and even and then let me just kind of press it down and we'll go around the corner here and I think there's enough to go down the sides and the front but not the back and we don't need to because we have this little Elsa heart in the back so here we go let's go 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 and perfect yay it worked this looks really cute Okay, we got all of the harder decorating done, and now we can do the fun, easy stuff like sticking on all these hearts. They're nice and glittery and foamy. I really like them. So let me just do the front here. I'm going to do a lot of big hearts, and then in between I'll put a lot of little hearts. It's looking super cute. I think I just need one more little heart in the middle here, and we can move on to the top. Here's the top. I'm going to add in these cute little border pieces. The set only came with four. I wish it had more and then you could put some more on the sides too, but this should do. And then I'll put a huge array of hearts. And the hearts are really cool because they all have different designs. Little ones, big ones, and some with lots of glitter and some with just a little bit of glitter. And now I can move on to decorating the sides. For this one, I'll just put two big hearts and then I'll put little hearts just off to the side. Ooh, and a little heart in the middle. It's super cute. Let's fill in this space a little better with some tiny hearts. And I think that's cute. And for the last side, I'll try to decorate it semi-symmetrical. So we got big hearts on each side. And then I'll put some medium ones in the middle. And I'll balance that out with the little tiny baby hearts and maybe just a couple little tiny ones on the side. And I still have quite a few more hearts on our sheets and I want to use everything. So I figure I'll decorate the lid just a little bit more because that's what the kids see the most when they're delivering the valentines. So let's just fill in some spaces. There we go. The glittery ones are super glittery, but luckily the glitter stays on pretty well too. So it hasn't made too much of a mess. So I think we are all done. I ran out of stickers, so that's pretty much all I have to decorate with. But I think it turned out really well. I'm proud of myself because I don't think I'm the most crafty person. But it looks really, really good. Perfect for Valentine's Day. So let's open up our box and fill it up with surprises. I've got a whole bunch of surprises. So we have this Disney Princess chocolate set, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles chocolate, Disney Princess Palace Pets, Minecraft, this is a blind box, a blind bag for Hello Kitty, ooh, a frozen Elsa Pez, that's awesome. 
Oh, these things are cool. I found these at Target too. They're cute little racers. And then I have a Dora the Explorer Kinder Egg and a Disney Frozen Egg. Oh, but wait, I'm forgetting one of my favorite toys, Shopkins. So here's a season two Shopkins basket. Now we can put the lid on and save all these toys for later. So if you want me to open up all of Elsa's surprise Valentine's Day toys before Valentine's Day, then give me a like now. And in the comments, let me know if you're going to make your own Valentine's Day box this year. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video and click on the question mark to watch a mystery video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.